Hello, uh, I am Dr. Han Jung Kim, and I'm currently a neurosurgeon at Uridur Spine Hospital in Seoul, Cheongdam. Today, I would like to introduce to you one of the more minimal invasive spinal procedures that we do in our hospital, lumbar spine, which involves bulging or protrusions or extrusions in the intervertebral discs, which causes compression of the spinal nerves. The main symptoms of lumbar disc herniations is low back pain and leg pain. And this is one of the most frequently seen diseases in the spine. Uh, treatment for lumbar disc herniations usually involve what we call conservative management, which is oral medication, physical therapy, and sometimes spinal injections. Uh, most of the patients who have this disease usually uh, find symptom relief with conservative management. However, uh, in some cases, uh, back pain and low back pain, low back pain and leg pain can persist even with these types of treatment. And in these cases, we usually opt for surgical treatment. Surgical treatment involves making a small incision in the back to remove the lumbar disc. Although it seems fairly simple. Patients usually have uh, a little bit of a phobia for these types of surgical treatments. Also, after surgical treatment, uh, the patient needs to go through some type of rehabilitation, which can last for up to several weeks. And in rarer cases, uh, some might find some types of complications with surgical treatment. To avoid these types of complications, what is the hospital? has treated patients uh, with a procedure called transforaminal endoscopic lumbar discectomy. This is a much simpler type of surgical treatment uh, for lumbar disc herniations. The transforaminal endoscopic lumbar discectomy involves using a small endoscope that goes through what we call a working channel, which is inserted in the spine through natural openings in, in between the intervertebral bodies. Therefore, we don't have to remove any of the normal structure while we do the procedure. It is a simple procedure uh, done under local anesthesia, which means that the patient doesn't have to be sedated. Uh, the patient will be awake. Also, the procedure lasts for approximately 30 to 40 minutes uh, with minimal pain. Also, uh, complications that are seen with um, general spinal surgery, uh, which include bleeding, infection, or even neural injury, is very rare in these types of minimal invasive procedures. So basically it is a bloodless surgery with very, very low complication rates. Another advantage is that the patient can go back to everyday activities immediately after the procedure. This is an outpatient procedure, and the patient does not need to stay in the hospital for too long. And the patient can go back to his or her everyday activities immediately after having the procedure. Therefore, the patients are not too scared of this procedure. It enhances the quality of life of the patients very quickly. Uridur Hospital has been um, undergoing these types of procedures for almost 40 years now with excellent results. You can see these results in the, in the uh, journals and textbooks that we have written in the past uh, several decades. These types of minimal invasive spinal surgery has been gaining global recognition for several decades now, especially Uridur Hospital. And we have seen many, many patients and even doctors come over to our, to our hospital to learn more about and to uh, enhance their skills in these types of procedures. Today, I have talked about our most frequently used procedure called the transforaminal endoscopic lumbar discectomy. In later updates, I would like to introduce you to more other types of minimal invasive procedures, and I'll see you again.